Hey, what's up, traders? This is William, and we have Eamon way over here from Russia. What's up, Eamon? Hey, William, how are you doing? I'm good, man. All right, so we both actually crushed it. I can say it. Yesterday, I did a Red Day recap. Today, we crushed it on Apple, right, man? Definitely, we did it. We did. All right, we're both getting a little FOMO right now <laughs> for a different reason, but let's get into this trade, Eamon. Spy held yesterday and then it gapped up today. Apple was much more bullish yesterday and it had the gap up. So I figured Apple could be independent because it was independent yesterday in a way because from here to yesterday it gapped up. It was very bullish and then it did another gap up and it was above mm -hmm. all the moving averages on the daily. And if SPY gapped up, which it did above the moving averages, I thought Apple's independent and it'll pro get propped up if SPY makes a good run also. So I was using SPY to my advantage there. And then let me go back to Apple. Okay, so actually I loved this 60 minute candle right here. This I gigantic 60-minute candle. I love that. And I figured, unlike you, when you profited out right about here, I thought if it could break this pre-market high, look at this 15, if it could break this, that it had no resistance, man. I saw this daily level here. I did. And I did take some partials because, because of that. But instead of getting all out at a, at a 3 to 1 or a 4 to 1, I saw my harmonious chart. And I figured this is the day that it could make a big move. So look at this first entry, man. This is what I'm really proud of myself. I got one of those entries we talk about. I got the dip. And then I saw green on the level two, people hitting the ask. And I went long way down here. And I saw this 200 moving average support. After I got long, it went up. And it freaking nicked me out to the penny. <laughs> <laughs> on my stop you see i put oh, my no. stop right at the 200 and it nicked me out uh, so when it held that i was like all right william this isn't a fomo trade this is not a revenge trade you've seen this so many times you just picked support as your stop versus under support or buying at the real support so no problem man take your one hour loss and get back in so then i re-entered right here okay so this was first entry all out exit one hour loss then I got re-entry right here with a stop still down here. So it was a wider stop, which means my risk to reward is higher. So then when it held and it started to cross this moving average, I decided, you. you know what I really thought, Eamon? This is why I wanted to do this recap with you. I figured, how do Eamon and Kurt add? How do they add into the trade? And I don't know if this is the type of ad you did, but I decided, F it. I need to learn how to add. I'm going to add some shares right here. So I did another 1R. I still had my original stop though. So right, I have this as 1R with a wide yeah. stop and even a wider stop, a lot of room to breathe. And then once it made this, this is a classic bull flag on a harmonious chart, above the moving averages, on a strong daily, breaking out over this 60 minute chart. I was like, oh man, it's got nowhere to go but up, man. And then I took 10% partials, I was like, I want to lock in some profit and I did it at a risk to reward and I just did I just did 10% partials all the way up and I was really proud of myself here until it kept going and then I thought oh <laughs> even I got out too early right but no man we followed our rules I got stopped out I went back in you waited for a new for a one minute high for your entry you didn't get stopped out we held to our R's this is what we want to do every single day right man that's true that's true Follow our rules, get our R's. Follow our For rules, plan. get our R's. Remember when we did our interview and what did you say? Your number one rule, I think, I mean, your number one tip, I think was follow your rules, right? Definitely follow your rules. And follow your stops. And I did that today. I followed my rules. I still am a little wishy-washy on my targets on how to do it. That's kind of like intuition and I want to get that a little more mechanical. But I feel great. I feel great. Not because I had a great winner, because I had a great winner executing. And good management. No, no, no. Great it's, management. I did great management, but that's not why I feel good. I feel great because everything I've studied for, everything I want to do in the market, which I rarely do perfectly, I did it today. And that makes me feel good. Like everything is worth the studying that I do, all the, every, all my energy I put in 
makes me feel proud of myself when I actually follow my plan. And traders, it's rare. I don't always follow my plan. And the feeling of following my plan is pretty amazing that I want to share with you. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Was about it. It's really good to see when all your learning starts to pay off. All right, man. Thanks so much, Eamon. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you. You too, William. Have a good right. day. You too. Later.